What is a ghost's favorite sword fighting themed PlayStation 1 game? Ooh, Shido Blade. Welcome to the stream, my friends. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I was half expecting you to just say Ghost Slayer. <laughs> oh, welcome in Dead Zergling. First in chat tonight. And we have Lucent Jelly here as well. Thank you, uh, my friends. Thank you for being here. We have uh, two games to work on tonight. <laughs> Boo, indeed. <laughs> Uh, we have two games to work on tonight, my friends. We're going to try and finish up Ghost Slayer for our continuing spooky We Wear Marathon. And uh, then we're going to get even spookier with the horror of Jump King. <laughs> uh, wish me luck. Uh, yay for the new artwork. So this is a, this is a piece of artwork submitted by, by cows. Cows are important, has created this masterpiece that we are using for our icon tonight. <laughs> Let's jump in. <laughs> So this is a game, at first I thought this was kind of terrible, but after I played it for a little while, it really started to kind of grow on me. Um, it is an all motion controlled uh, Cal's artwork is very unexpected. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh-oh. There we go. For a moment, I had a panic attack. My, uh, I thought my uh, save file was gone. But uh, here we are. So this game, yeah, this game has grown on me quite a bit. Um, it is an all-motion-controlled, on-rails, first-person sword-fighting game. And, uh, the thing is that the motion controls are actually pretty one-to-one. -one. Um, it's not, it's definitely not perfect. It's definitely janky and cheesable. And a lot of my actual sword swinging is very clumsy and frantic. But the blocking... Like you, you really do have to kind of snap into a, into a reasonable position for blocking, and I was pretty terrible at it to start, and I'm still pretty terrible at it. That's the worst thing about the game is that I'm terrible at it. But uh, the longer I played it, it started to. I felt like I started to get a little better at it, so I'm excited to try and finish this one up. Streaming fist, welcome in. It's the lair where the ghosts are. Alright, I think we just got a new uh, HP as well. So there are different swords in the game, and the different swords, I think, actually have different magic. I didn't really pay a lot of attention in the differences between these two swords, but this 
sword seems to have a really wide area of effect for its magic spell. I tried to make myself a one pound burger patty today. Alas, it fell apart into three pieces. So not much better than three third pounders so far. I'm not entirely sure what is to be done about that. All right, we're gonna play with Wii Motion Plus, which means we have to set the controller down for some odd reason. Don't really understand. Jelly and I had beef fried rice again, and uh, it was even better tonight than it was yesterday. The meat was uh, the meat was a lot better tonight. It came out kind of chewy last night. But I think that might have had more to do with the actual cut of beef itself than... I don't know. I mean, they were the same... Just... Cheap. Just... Cubed, like... You know... Chuck. But, uh... I think there was a little bit of connective tissue in yesterday's batch. Or maybe I cooked it better, I don't know. Oh no, my magic got one of them, but not the closer one? That's weird. Oh no. Off to a bad start tonight. Off to a real bad start. <laughs> I'm really hoping that the gameplay does not become annoying on the hardest difficulty. I could see it kind of easily becoming so. Might need to purvey videos on how to do it properly or just realize there's a reason Burger joints don't go above uh don't go above one third pounders typically. doing terribly. Absolutely terrible. Hey, Sir Akaplam. Welcome in. Good to have you with us tonight. Hope you've been doing well, my friend. I have, uh, I have no complaints. I'm playing I'm playing Ghost Slayer on the uh, on the Wii. It's all motion controlled. 
on rails sword fighting and uh I'm having a I'm having a, a tough time getting back into the swing of things. <laughs> but uh we'll we'll get it here in a moment. I've gotta get back into the uh, diagonal blocking groove. That's the, the thing I struggle with the most. Disagree. I disagree. That one should that block should have worked. Usually I miss a block and it's my fault, but I I didn't feel I didn't feel responsible for that one. Hey Pookie Stan, welcome in. It is in some ways, it is in some ways the scariest game we've played so far. Uh-oh. Being further along in the game and having more magic unlocked really, really helps. Let go of me, let go of me. No, that counted as a hit. I disagree. I'm gonna have to spam magic to get through here. No. Victory. Oh, thank goodness for the magic. <laughs> Don't try too hard, Frowdy. You get a boo lister. <laughs> I certainly hope not. Oh, my arm definitely does, uh, wear out rather quickly thank you for the ggs more power let's go the thing is as you play it longer and the difficulty increases also you get more health and better swords and more power-ups and so it gets easier as it gets harder. That was a that was a good start. Oh no. No oh no, he was in the position I wanted him to be in, and then I ruined it.
boss time. We have a lot of magic. I'm gonna take advantage of that lots of magic. No, that was that was bogus. Victory. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> Let's go. That's the end of the game on difficulty two. We still have difficulty three to look at, though. But that's not bad. Uh, I actually avoid melee based games like these in VR. I've gotten Tennis Elbow before from Waggly Games, so I'm rather cautious about playing them now, Pookie says. I can definitely understand. Use more of your wrist than your elbow. Well, that that is pretty much what I'm doing. I, I try not to move my, my, my... I try not to move any more than absolutely necessary. <laughs> All right, so the third and final difficulty. We've still got one more sword to unlock. And maybe some more upgrades to these? I certainly hope so. No, <laughs> Either that or just full body breakdance. That works too. <laughs> Skip all the story and tutorial stuff. Gonna find some wall meat, Pookie says, right on. Hope you find something wonderful. Sorry, the game looks so like it's simultaneously super too dark to see and too washed out. I just I always have this problem with Wii in particular. It's hard to make the capture look decent. I don't know what it is. I don't know about what it is about the Wii that's so odd. Alright, I really hope this is not annoyingly difficult. Off to a good start. Learn that the optimal sword fighting technique is always to go for your opponent's knees. <laughs> My one like piece, like real piece of strategy, there it is, is I want to get them to go into a horizontal guard and then I can just swipe at their knees. That is what I that is what I go for on every enemy. <laughs> Just to try and bonk them on the head to encourage a horizontal guard and then go for the knees.
We have so much magic, I don't think we're going to have to engage in real battle with anyone on this stage. I think I'll just be able to spam magic against everyone with a sword. <laughs> yeah, easily. Hey, we got the last, uh, we got the last sword. I hope it is. I mean, I can't. I suspect it's not actually going to be better than the one we currently have. Because the magic from this sword is so good. But we'll try it out anyway. I can even roll the sword from side to side a little bit. Okay, magic unlocked. Wow, alright, I think this magic's good too. I picked up Arrowheart and Kaze. Play them each a little bit. I really like both of them. Nice. I was talking to Jelly about uh, Arrowheart. I uh, asked her to keep a lookout for me at the library uh, for if that one is going to come in. I might, I might try it as a library rental to see what I think about it. Always glad to see uh, to see uh, love and support for Kaze. I really enjoyed that game. to the end of the level here soon. <laughs> I'm I can burn some of these uh, magic attacks. Speed running at this point. <laughs> You're so great at jiggling ghosts to death. <laughs> both published by the same company i didn't know that and no i don't i don't know anything of, i don't really know anything about the makers i just know i love the game <laughs> turned out to be really tough. Seemed like he had some extra health or something.
think this is the stage boss. Victory. don't think we're going to unlock any more HP or um, power bars. I got a little bit lucky there. I got a little bit unlucky too. One of the 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 thing I didn't think should have caused me damage caused me damage, and the and one of the things that I thought well, two of the things that I thought should didn't. So I shouldn't complain. <laughs> So the thing the the thing about speeding through this though is that like the faster I get through this, the more time I have to spend playing Jump King tonight. <laughs> Which I mean I like Jump King, but <laughs> prolonged exposure to Jump King can be really painful. <laughs> Like me some Zelda clones, Pookie says. Let's go. Halfway there. The wall meet tonight's gonna be a a bigger burger and smaller burger. So I'll do a double burging and some curly fries uh with it. Gotta wait for the air fryer though. The new rank acquired is the worst thing that I can get. The ranks and the levels mean nothing. I was trying to think of how many Zelda clones I've actually played. Survival Kids is kind of Zelda clone like. But really, Alundra, I think, is uh, maybe the only actual one. I have very mixed feelings about Alundra.
Oh, yuck. No! I'm really curious to see if I'm going to end up preferring Alundra 2 to Alundra 1 because my feelings about the first game were so mixed and uh, I've heard pretty frequently that the second game is the worst of the two, but... I don't know. I'm open to the idea that I might actually end up preferring it. Hey, Stat Cat, welcome in. I took so many pictures today, a lot of cats. That one that you shared in the uh, Discord, I think, I think that you, uh, it was you that posted that, right? Um, that cat looks a lot like um, one of our cats. It looks like Twiggy. Gray Tabby. Thank you for the wheel. We can uh, do that. That's a perfect time. If you haven't been around my friends the wheel has a lot of new stuff on it now has 10 unique items um some of them are rollovers from previous incarnations the candy all rolled over oddly enough but it's got six new items on it and uh we'll see what we get The, the jerky. <laughs> All right, so this wasn't that bad. The jerky was the item that I was most afraid of on the wheel, and we actually landed on it first thing. It is this... Uh... I've got the packaging here somewhere. Or maybe I don't. Why can't I? Well, I don't know where the packaging went. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a uh, Inferno X Jurassic Jerky, made with Carolina Reaper peppers. Um, I don't know where I I don't know what I did with the packaging though, so I can't hold it up right now. <laughs> it's somewhere around here, but for now you'll just have to take my word for it. So. Uh, it's pretty hot. It's not as deadly as I thought it would be. Oh, uh, excuse me a moment before we have this. Thank you for the coffee and the snacks, Jelly. All right, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a bite of this. I've broken it into rather small pieces. So I think we'll do, we'll actually do two of them at once. I think that's reasonable. And uh, let's go.
Yeah. That's a little hot. Oh. It's a little worse when you have them two at a time, too. Uh. Oh. It's a little worse. Good tradition, next time, three at a time. <laughs> I might be bold enough to step up to three, but I don't think I could, I don't think I would go beyond that. At some point it gets wasteful, right? <sighs> Definitely want to make sure, uh, want to make sure our treats last. I mean, it's no, it's no sunflower seeds. But boy, that's a that's a kick, and it, it was a lot worse eating two pieces. And so far as how big the pieces are, I just I went for something about the size of like one of the units of my finger, so they're pretty small. <clears throat> wasteful, like say over spicing food. Wasteful. It's not wasting it if you're not wasteful if you're going to eat it. And enjoy it. <laughs> it tastes like Echo. Uh, much, much better than that. Uh, it's still, uh, I've still got like a dull burn going. And I feel this in my stomach a lot. That's the worst of this jerky. Is that something about the spices. I, I feel these spices in my stomach a lot. Which is not my preference. <laughs> Baron Metz, welcome in. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the pistachios and the hydrate. We can take care of those. There are those, primarily jelly, who would accuse me of overspicing all of my food. <laughs> Hey, Tommy. Welcome in. Happy uh, Tuesday to you. Yeah, these are nice after, uh, these are really nice after something spicy. Happy Tuesday, Frowny in chat, Mint says, and happy Tuesday to you, of course. I probably fall into that camp. Nowadays, Zergly, Zergling says, I don't even use pepper now. We're gonna finish up this bottle of water, I think. Cooling down the pipes. Hey, I landed that in the trash can, except I actually didn't want it to go in the trash can because it's a recyclable bottle and it was supposed to land next to it. <laughs> uh. All right, back to our game. The continuing adventures of the sentient floating sword. <laughs> I actually thought about using my Wiimotes and playing some normal Wii games. I'll play some of that within the month, Fuki says. Right on. 
I actually have very little. Uh, I actually have very, very little experience with the Wii. But uh, I'm gaining more and more. I'm gaining more and more all the time. Hey, we have a raid coming in. Very nice. Welcome in, raiders. Thank you for joining us. Let's get the uh, shout out ready. Hi, Lee. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Very grateful to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Master Max, welcome in. Thank you for coming along. And is that a Canto? If I blundered that, I welcome correction. But uh, welcome to the stream. And it looks like you're playing Little Nightmares. Oh, I hope you're enjoying that. I haven't actually, uh, haven't actually played that one, but I'd like to give it a try. I think I have it. Yeah, I have it. I have it purchased on the Wii, on the not the Wii, the Switch, but I've never gotten around to playing it. Uh, raid huggies. What a beautiful man! Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, a lot of people think I am a toe, which is understandable. Can too. Ah, oh, thank you. Can too. Can too. You shall be. Thank you for the assist on that, and thank you for the follow. Very much, uh, very much appreciated having you come on board with us. First time playing, it's fun so far. Right on. We are also playing spooky games. I'm doing a marathon in October of We Wear titles. <laughs> just the uh, just the the We the We downloadable library, all the spooky games that I can get through uh, from that. Um, we're doing them pretty much alphabetically, and we're at the end of the G's. This is Ghost Slayer. It is an on-rails first-person sword fighting game that's exclusively motion-controlled. Um, we played through... What have we done so far? We've done uh, Contra... The Contra Adventure Rebirth. or uh, No, Castlevania. Castlevania, the Adventure Rebirth. We did Anima, Arc of Sinners. We did Dracula, Undead Awakening, Ghost Mania, Gabrielle's Ghostly Groove Monster Mix, Ghost Mansion Party. There's been some rough times. <laughs> this is not a this is not an entirely stellar library. I've never seen this game. Uh, this is a uh, until I started this project, I'd never uh, until I'd started this uh, project, I'd never heard or, or or seen the overwhelming majority of these titles. <laughs> Most of them are are spoopy, though. Zergling says, "Uh, is that a it's a so that's a crocheted it's a crocheted blanket." Um, actually, and it was, uh, my, my, my father made that. He is, uh, he is a man of unlimited talent, and one of them is, uh, and one of them is crochet, so I, uh, we, uh, we've got a lot of, uh, we've got a lot of his work. We have a lot of crocheted blankets, and I, uh, just like to have one, uh, down here on the couch with me to, uh, enhance the, uh, you know, the sort of comfy feel that I'm, uh, that I'm going for. <laughs> More cats displayed in pets. Stat Cat says, "Excellent. I look forward to checking those out." Thank you for uh, thank you for sharing, Stat Cat. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> 
it's uh it is very impressive work i like the uh i like the colors too i've got a i've got a couple of them that i've uh i've sort of been rotating out since it's uh since it's the spooky time of year i uh, decided to to go with some of the darker one of the darker colored ones So I was pretty, I was pretty lukewarm on this game at first. I, I wasn't a big fan, uh, but the longer I played it, it's actually unlocked for me a little bit. I've gotten a little bit better at the blocking, which is definitely vital to your success. And it's kind of a weird game because. As it gets more difficult, it also gets more easy. <laughs> like, as, as you get further along, the difficulty increases, but also your life bar and your power bar increase. And so it actually becomes easier as it becomes more difficult. <laughs> But the sword motion, so the thing is, the motion controls, like, they're, they're weird and jank, but I actually, like, can't really complain about them because they are kind of one-to-one -one with your movements. I know, like, when I attack, I just kind of arbit- I, I seeming, seemingly arbitrarily waggle the Wiimote around. <laughs> like, attacking doesn't feel very good, but the blocking movements do make some- like, they do make a degree of sense. So I can't, you know... I don't want to be too harsh on it. Yeah, this is with the Motion Plus. It has the option for... It asks you at the beginning if you're going to use the Wii Motion Plus or not. And we... we I have got one of the... My my Wiimote says it has the Wiimote Motion Plus built in. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm sure that makes a difference, though. I don't really have the experience to. Like I haven't played enough of each type of Wii game to like. actually be able to appreciate the differences. Victory. And see, that's the thing. What makes it so much easier the further you get along is you have so much magic that you can trivialize so many of these enemies with your magic attack. <laughs> it was actually it was actually much more difficult on uh it was actually much more difficult on the easy difficulty because I I couldn't spam that that magic so much. Uh, it looks like a pretty functional game. I've seen much worse with waggly controls. Uh, it's bedtime for me, Eileen says, but have a wonderful stream. Hey, thank you again for the raid, and uh, I hope you continue to enjoy your playthrough of Little Nightmares. Uh, sleep well, sleep well. Hopefully, we'll see you again. In the meantime, we'll uh, endeavor to uh, take good care of your people for you. Classic Dark Souls. <laughs> I've never seen a game like this. This gets compared, so I haven't played it, but there's a game called Red Steel on the Wii that people have compared this to. Um, I've certainly never played... I've certainly never played anything quite like this myself. The closest thing would be like those like on rails first person shooter games. 
like something like uh, the typing of the dead <laughs> would be uh probably my closest comparison or the the arcade machine of area 51 I don't have any of the built-in ones stat cat says only the plug-in ones yeah, so this one, yeah, it just looks like a regular Wiimote, but it says at the bottom it has the Wiimotion Plus inside. I got this, I think I got this with a, I got this with a Wii that I found in a Goodwill store. It's the, um... It's like the revised model Wii, so it doesn't have the controller ports for the GameCube on the side. I don't use it very often, um, the actual Wii. But this is my only, this is my only Wii Motion Plus Wii Mote. I don't, I don't have the separate thing, and I don't have any others that are like this. This seems pretty unique to me. Uh, Cantu says, some games take advantage of it re really well, like Red Steel 2. I was thinking like Sniper Scope or something, or House of the Dead. I don't think I've actually ever played House of the Dead. I've only played Typing of the Dead. <laughs> Which I'm a pretty big fan of. <laughs> A typing of the dead is amazing. I, I've played the one on the uh, I've played the one on the Dreamcast, and I had one on Steam. I think it was called Typing of the Dead Overkill. I didn't play that one as much. I didn't really play either of them that much. I want to play. I want to play Typing of the Dead. Fuki says it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm not a great keyboardist. I guess I need, uh, that's why I need to play that game more. I type for a living, so that game is fun. <laughs> oh, we're on stage seven already? Oh my goodness. We are blazing through this tonight. There are only eight stages, and we're on the final difficulty level, so. We could be through this game in a very short time, if I don't blunder too badly. That guy got kind of robbed. <laughs> I was I was not blocking as well as the game was giving me credit for. <laughs> that that enemy should be very annoyed. So the the winning strategy that I've found the best strategy is to uh, try to get them to do a horizontal guard and then swipe at their knees. <laughs> so, uh, you know, to the to the extent that I'm even considering strategy, it's always one of try and bonk them on the head until they go into a ho horizontal guard and then swipe at their knees. <laughs> And a lot of times I can take them out without even, uh, before they even really attack. Uh, 
sweep the leg. <laughs> That's a uh, karate kid. Angry mustache is too powerful. <laughs> Power bar acquired, my goodness. Easy. It is it is it is much easier now. It's a uh, I uh I think I said bef before the raid, I was I was talking about how the, the weird thing about this is as you go along further in the game, the difficulty increases, but you get more HP and you get more power bar and you get better swords. So as the game becomes harder, it actually gets much easier. <laughs> I have I have way too many advantages now, and so <laughs> now you're just getting good. I oh, will thank you. <laughs> I am getting a little bit better. I have gotten I have gotten better at the blocking. I was uh, I was trash at the blocking for the first several hours. It's the start of stage enemies that pose the greatest threats because they you don't have any magic to uh, when they put a when they put a tough enemy as the first enemy like that that's when you really have to engage. Oh no! Hey cows, welcome in. I see we're using my silly doodle. Hey uh, the uh, the you know the art artwork. Brownie themed artwork placed in the Discord is up for grabs. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm very honored to have your submission, Cal's. So I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy its use on the stream. <laughs> oh, I'm doing bad. <laughs> And uh, welcome in. Thank you for joining us. As always, uh, cows. A pro, a pro life pro tip: If your electricity is out, you could use candles as a Wii sensor bar. How does that work? Oh. It's true. <laughs> you know, when you really need to play the Wii when your power is out. I mean... <laughs> I get that there's... I get that there's a degree of joke here, but also you... You can use candles in place of the sensor. Like, if you lose your sensor bar, you can set up some candles and it will still work. Huh. That's, uh... The candles work as it uses infrared. That's kind of fascinating. Huh. 
Huh. And there are, yeah, and there are two things on the sensor bar, right? So. I wonder if they maybe even work better than the sensor bar. They don't. <laughs> the light isn't consistent enough. Ah. You thought he was joking. Well, I thought that... Uh... I... I knew that... <laughs> I knew that the part... I knew that the part about the electricity being out was a joke. And then I thought that probably... I thought that probably they were serious about... Uh, the candle's working, though that still is somewhat surprising to me. <laughs> I want to say, I want to say that this is vital information for me because, because, uh, post-apocalypse, all I will be doing is playing shovelware. But before I could even say that sentence, I thought, well, if an apocalypse happens, maybe I won't even notice. <laughs> Now that the now that the now that the the entire earth has been reduced to ashes, all I do is sit in my hide in my basement playing shovelware by candlelight. What did you do before? Well, I played shovelware by lamplight. <laughs> This guy is ruining me. No! Solar powered Wii. Candles on the TV. It's a way to make Wii games even more retro, Cow says. <laughs> Is causing me trouble. He's the real final boss of the game right there. A living through the apocalypse with crocheted blankets and candle sensor bars. <laughs> sounds pretty sounds pretty cozy. I'm transported into another world and all, all I do is end up playing shovelware and, and streaming. 
on Twitch in the fantasy land. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a creature. I'm a creature that's very resistant to change. perfect, but that puts us in a much better position. Out of magic. Oh, I gained some magic. That was weird. I didn't block and it didn't hit me. I mean, I did block, but it didn't make the block sound effect. Or the visual effect, I think. So I don't know what happened. Victory. That's the game, my friends. Let's go. All three difficulties cleared away. First try. <laughs> uh, and that's it. I mean, we didn't get anything else for doing it. We got a new, you know, title or whatever. It kind of ends, it kind of ends not with a bang, but a whimper. <laughs> All right, well, this game was a good time. I don't regret, I don't regret playing this. It was, it's kind of janky. It's not, you know. It's better than it seems at first. I'd give it like a 4 out of 7. Maybe a 4.5 even. 
My feelings about it are somewhat positive. <laughs> Janky is the perfect adjective. It describes the problem. The only problem with it is it describes so much of the stuff I play. <laughs> It's a word that becomes meaningless from overuse. <laughs> it's like it's it ends like a ghost dematerializing. Very on 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 theme. And thank you for the trophies, cows. You sure killed the ghosts. Time for the pain of Jump King. Yeah, that that's the thing, is now it's Jump King for the rest of the night. <laughs> I like Jump King, but uh but my goodness. This is going to be a lot of Jump King. This is going to be a lot of falling. So we are doing a different WiiWare game every night. But in addition to that, our regular schedule looks uh, something like this this week. Doing Tears of the Kingdom, Jump King, and Splatterhouse. As our second part of the stream event. So, uh, tonight is Jump King. We will be playing another WiiWare game tomorrow, starting a new one. Let me see if I can see what that's going to be. For, uh... Curious Minds. Where is my list of WiiWare? There it is. So, next spooky WiiWare game, I think... Will be... A happy Holidays Halloween. So, might be a short night on that one. I don't know. There's a Happy Holidays Christmas and a Happy Holidays Halloween. And I have a suspicion that these are more apps than games. But, uh, it's next on the list. So that's what we're going to be checking out. I think after that is going to be lit. Which I've heard is actually a really good kind of horror game on the Wii. But I don't know. So happy holidays Halloween at the start of the stream tomorrow. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I usually yeah I usually stream for for about five to six hours. Um, I try to start up around eleven. Or, well, I try to start up around ten p.m. Central Time, but I'm usually late. So I, I start up around the ten to eleven p.m. window in the Central Time Zone, and I usually stream until about five a.m. So, and there's usually two games per night. Uh, past my bedtime it's 6 30 in the in the uk <laughs> yeah it's uh you're, you're you're quite you're quite a bit ahead of me and it's uh it's looking early for you so uh, i'm gonna take a brb my friends uh even though we haven't been streaming for very long i'm gonna step away very briefly and uh, we will get things switched over to the Switch, and we will play Jump King for the rest of the night for as long as I can endure the pain. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. <laughs> You're so handsome. Well, thank you, uh, can can too. Have a good stream. Thank you for uh, being here. Thank you again for the follow. Hopefully we'll get to see you again. But, uh, yeah, so uh, let me step away a few minutes. I'll be back with you as quickly as I can, and we will play some Jump King. <laughs> 